so <laughs> oh my god so i'm living in my car <laughs> i'm literally fucking getting ready to go to sleep in my car i made a little bed by folding the seats down in my suv and now i'm just waiting to go to sleep in my car i literally <laughs> i done left my mama's house i could not I could not stand living there anymore. She was driving me nuts. She was driving me crazy, crazy nuts. I had to leave. It was putting a strain on both of our relationships. It was not good. It was not good. I really did not want to kill my fucking mother. Did not want to kill my mom. And, and I'm, I literally feel like it was going to fucking get to that point. Like I was going to strangle this bitch. Mm. It's like... It's like we're the same person and 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 and, and our, our our desires are not syncing up and that is a bad thing. That is a bad bad thing. Okay? Do you, you understand why that's a bad thing? I shouldn't have to explain to you why that's a bad thing when two headstrong women aren't getting what they want. It's it's just not a good thing. So, I left. I done left. She evicted me and I diddly done left. So, now I'm in my car. Um, but I'm not worried because why would I be worried? I'm never worried about anything. I've had worse things happen to me. I've had some way worse things happen to me. So I'm not worried. Um, you know, it's really funny though. So much ironic shit happens to me is that ironically enough, the city just passed an ordinance allowing homeless people to sleep in their cars in a certain parking lot from a certain time. And it's under video surveillance and the cops watch it. So that's really fucking cool. Like... Thanks, universe. Thanks for looking out for me. I don't... I will stab a bitch. I will stab a bitch. I'm not afraid to stab people. I got a knife for stabby stab purposes. I know where vital organs are. I know where arteries are. I will stab a bitch. I'm not afraid to bite off somebody's balls. If it's a chick, I'll bite their nipples off. I am not afraid. I really don't want to do that because I'm kind of a pac pacifist. I should really rather not do that. But, um... I will if I have to, because self preservation fucking vision. I will stab you. I will stab a bitch. Shank. Seriously. Mm. I've never done anything like this before. It's kind of a whole new adventure. So, I need to save up money for an apartment and for school. Hopefully I get financial aid here, because I don't have a house. That would be really nice. My mom was supposed to pay for my fucking tuition and fucking been fighting so much that I just never fucking got to it. And now I'm stuck with 2000 fucking dollars in debt and no way to pay for next semester either. So I didn't pay for last semester and I didn't pay for this semester. So now I'm fucking screwed unless I get financial aid, which would be really nice. Financial aid would be really fucking nice. Just, just some fucking aid in general. Just, just, just fucking help in general. I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't know how I ended up in this situation. And now I'm sleeping in my car, and it's actually not that horrible. It's quite cozy, actually. Um, last night it was pretty terrible because I couldn't get comfortable sleeping in the back seat, and I couldn't fucking move my legs, couldn't stretch my legs out. So I got into the front seat, and that was kind of okay, but the angle was fucking not good. It was a bad angle. So finally I figured out that I can put my seats down in my car. So I put my seats down in my car, and um, now I have a bed. So that's great. I fit all my shit into my car and I still have room for a bed. Still have room for a bed. Isn't that just fucking great? It's the little things in life that are just so pleasing sometimes. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if I should do a video every night. Um, just to make sure that I'm still here. So if anybody's actually watching and I disappear, somebody would know, but I think the only one that's actually watching is me. So, there's that. I don't think anything bad will happen to me, though. I really don't. Bad. What is bad? What is bad? What is a bad thing? If I were to get raped, would that be a bad thing? I mean, right away, you would consider it a bad thing. But in the grand scheme of things, a bad thing 
yes, it's a horrible thing. I don't want that to happen. If it does happen to me, somebody's going to get struck by lightning. So, therefore, it's not going to happen. Because it's just not. I've used logic to come to that conclusion. So, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Or maybe I am afraid and just not admitting it. And so... Fancy living, here we come. La 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 la. That is the goal. Hopefully, this will lead to that. Hopefully, this is not a total and complete and utter waste of my fucking time. Because I'm really tired of doing that. time to start getting shit done with my life. I'm tired of just sitting in the same place. Going backwards, even. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. I don't really know what that entails, though. I kind of feel like these things will just fall into place like they usually do. And I don't know why I deserve that. I don't know what I did to deserve something like that. But it's nice. I'm not. I'm, I don't want to seem like I'm complaining about it because it is nice, and you can. It just doesn't make sense to reject nice feeling things. But my opinions are a little bit unorthodox most of the time. Well, here we go. A whole new grand adventure. Everything's brand new, and I don't remember a thing. So I gotta relearn it all again. And seems like I got plenty of time to do it. So I got all the time in the fucking world. There's no time. There's there's no reason to be worried about lack of time. Time or lack thereof. There's no reason to worry. Because everything that you are meant to do, you will do. And nothing that you weren't meant to do, wait. And everything you weren't meant to do, you won't do. So... I just feel like I have a good mentality on life. Good mentality on life. But a bad, bad execution phase. Can't execute. Bad at executing. I really should go to sleep now because I gotta be out of here by 6 a.m. And, um. God, I hate waking up early. But I'm gonna wake up. 6 a.m. go for a walk and then probably hang out at the library all day because why not um they have a piano at the library so that's great it's like this was meant to happen it's like this was meant to happen i literally feel so much better not being in my mom's house and not having her scream at me that the house is fucking dirty, even though I just fucking cleaned it. God! I mean, sometimes you're just unreasonable. God! Freaking crazies. But I'm not any better. You know, here I am. Sleeping in a makeshift bed in my car. I kind of like it, though. I hope I don't become one of those people that just can't ever live in a house again. If I, if I were going to live in a car for the rest of my life, I'd have to figure out how to defend myself. Because I don't know what, how much I'd be able to do with this. And I don't really like to kill people. So, like, if I could find a way to non-lethally incapacitate people, that would be great. So, I can incapacitate them, and then I can tie them up, and then they can go to fucking jail. Because you don't deserve death. <sighs> that is how I feel about that. All right. Good night. Goodbye. Sleep tight, sweet dreams. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Goodbye.